In 400 Metern links halten. The voice is already well known by some motorists. But in the coming years, satellite navigation will gain more and more importance in our daily lives and will become a utility like water, electricity or the telephone. Today, European citizens are fully dependent on the global positioning system, GPS. GPS is a US-American system developed by the US Air Force for military purposes and put at the disposal of everybody. Nevertheless, the US authorities have full control over this technology and in case of crisis, for example, Washington is able to make the signal unusable. There's no guarantee that this signal will be available in future. At each moment, the American government can decide to stop the signal. Secondly, this signal may be free today, but nobody can say if it will still be free in about 10 years. The European Space Agency ESA is fully involved in Europe's own satellite navigation project and responsible for its development. Galileo is the first major program bringing together the European Union institutions and the European Space Agency. It's based on a constellation of 30 satellites, placed in a medium Earth orbit at an altitude of approximately 24,000 kilometers, continuously covering the entire surface of the Earth. European cutting-edge technology will make Galileo much more accurate than today's GPS. Galileo will deliver real-time positioning accuracy down to one meter, which is unprecedented for a publicly available system. Each satellite is a platform equipped with an atomic clock providing extremely precise time references for the position determination. And when you think about time, you think about just one country, Switzerland. Here in Neuchâtel, scientists have developed a special Galileo clock. One of the scientists working on this ESA project is the Swiss physicist Alain Journaud. This clock is based on the properties of atoms to oscillate with extremely stable frequency. A grandfather clock's pendulum swings one period per second. The atoms have oscillations of 1.4 billion seconds. To observe the atoms, you have to prepare them in hydrogen in this glass recipient. The plasma reaction then gives this nice red color. Once the reaction starts, the atomic emission of 1.4 billion oscillations per second is detected on the clock. However, for a 100% safe service, the Galileo satellites will take two different clocks on board. In the same city of Neuchâtel, the company Temex is developing the other clock. It's much smaller and based on the so-called rubidium technology. Just a small piece of rubidium put in this small glass recipient will enable to give the most accurate time. Temex is already using its know-how for industrial applications, but especially for Galileo, it's developed this space rubidium clock, able to work at an altitude of 24,000 kilometers from the Earth. These clocks are indeed the heart of Galileo. Each satellite is providing its own time and its own location. So with several satellites, the user can compare the arrival time of the signals and compute his own location. And that's why we need on each satellite the exact time and position. So everything is related to time. And this is the satellite's time provider. About 20 ground sensors positioned over the globe will monitor the satellite's positions and the accuracy of their onboard clocks. The ground stations will be connected to central control facilities in Europe via a dedicated communications network. The control facilities will also keep service providers, such as traffic management services, informed about the operating status of the satellites. Galileo will indeed guarantee availability of the service under all but the most extreme conditions. This will make it suitable for applications where safety is crucial, such as landing aircraft under poor weather conditions. Economically more important, it will also offer unique possibilities for better management of road traffic, railways, for navigation or even guiding individuals. These are areas where the return of investment will be realized through value-added services and novel application developments.
This is a unique chance for the economy. ESA is pushing ahead with the development of Galileo key technologies to be ready in 2008. But the time to decide on the realization of the project is getting shorter and shorter. Yeah, uh... There is a range of frequencies available for navigation, but these frequencies are limited. In 2000, we received a part of the frequencies for our Galileo project in Istanbul, but we have to use them in space before 2005. If we don't do this, we'll lose the right to use this range of frequencies. For many European politicians, there's no question about the necessity of Galileo. If we would have asked ourselves this same question 30 years ago, we wouldn't have built Airbus and would have bought Boeing. Neither would we have bought Ariane. We would have ordered American or Russian launches. We need Galileo for our technological and scientific independence. Using the American GPS is contrary to European independence. Either we have a conception of Europe which uses the world market as a sort of supermarket dependent on the United States, who might be our ally, but there's no reason to be dependent on them, or we opt to continue the adventure of European space, technology and scientific research. During the month of March, a series of European summit meetings of ministers and heads of states and government will have to decide about the future of Galileo and not only about European sovereignty.